Oh, here we go. You said you're open about porn. What, what type of porn are you watching? What, what is your thing? It's top. Wow. Like, Holy shit. Highest tier of <laughs> top givers. <laughs> Bro, like, I thought that was going somewhere else so quick. Top givers is great. Bro, you know what? Let me let That's me let him really finish. I say consistently like on a daily basis tuned into like yeah. Right. Just really like those are like the real superstars of the world to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh and what about love? I mean, could you Wait, you just asked him about porn though. What what how are Stern doing? You ever commit to one woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be married. You could be married. I want to hear his answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I could, you know, like, I think, uh, I think that, I think that eventually once all this is said and done for us and right. that addiction of work and success and forward movement is over, I feel like we're all going to need something real. Hopefully yeah. it's not too late. Okay. But then like, right. It is too late though. Like, bro, if I, if I don't get married by the time I'm Drake age, I'm going to hang it up. Not saying I'm gonna stop, but I'm gonna just hang up the idea of marriage. Like it, it's over at that point. It's over. I'm gonna go to uh, where where them niggas be going where they want to feel desired and some shit like that. They go to Thailand and they start like flexing the young hoes be around them, and they start putting it on Twitter and shit like that, talking about a black man in in Thailand or some shit. like the sex workers shit like that. Like that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna just go over there. <clears throat> Who got more risky or Gregory? Me, obviously. Bro, put me in put me in Gregory's shoes. Everybody folding. Right now I feel like I get into this habit of dating like four or five women to make one woman. Because yeah. I like like these like two <laughs> Oh girl, my god. Like, that's what this girl does for a no, living. No, that like is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh no, Drake. You you eighty, you thirty eight. <sighs> So it's it, it's just real. I, I I I honestly I don't know if I'll like I, I hopefully I'll find somebody. Oh, cringe! The biggest thing is I need to be inspired. So I just don't ever I don't know where when like I don't know how to find that with the like with the porn question in there with the other, like I just need all those things. <laughs> yeah, you need gumbo. <laughs> the gumbo. You fumbled, yeah. and you fumbled you me. Oh nah. Whoa, shut the fuck out. Okay. Um, you said you're open. So this is all, this is weird, but not like bad weird. It's, it's like um, he's clearly continuing the certified lover boy, lover boy aesthetic. He clearly continuing that aesthetic, which is fine. Not not really, though. Not really. Um, the question I have, though, is. Drake, the unfunniest guy ever. I mean, the first thing was funny. Top Givers is, like, kind of funny. Second of all, though... This is part of his fake promos for the Yeah, album. that's what I was asking. Why fake promos? Like, why fake promo as real promo? I'm lost on that one. Or, I mean, it's, it's parodies of real promo. And I punched that nigga. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. I mean, cool. That's cool too. But like, honestly, but I don't want to get I don't want to get caught up and wrapped up into it because when Drake all of a sudden like had this huge rollout for Certified Lover Boy, this long rollout, this cinematic rollout, rollout. After plenty of time and digestion, who won? Chat. One Florida jit or one Detroit seaman. Okay, bro. Wow. Um. After Dot how you 38 years old and still calling yourself a boy. I mean, I think he's the boy. He, he'll never not be the boy. That's number one. I think that's part of the joke. Cool. But I'm saying, though, I don't want to get my hopes up because with Certified Lover Boy, that kind of happened at first. I was like this genius level call back to the old Drake, all this cinematography 
the way he's linking the old albums into his new shit. I think it fire. makes people more tuned into the release. Fire. But then, but then, it wasn't fire. And then he did the surprise drop with no marketing and it was ass. So it's like, it really don't matter which type of marketing he does. I'm never confident on the drop. But the confidence that I got in the drop this time is 21 Savage is right next to him. And if he starts to fall to the wayside, 21 can huh, pick him back up real quick. I feel like. He needs to grow up. He is grown. There's no more growing. He grew. He grew. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, God. that you were born in yeah 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 feel like it kind of like you're gonna listen like to Cartier Peggy after this my gate that. like cause I'm born in London but then like all my family like I'm in London got my be from London migrated from the West Indies and shit so it's like I'm damn near like gumbo when it come to culture for real I feel like that's crazy I mean, you know my answer, obviously. I mean, that that place is everything to me. Bro, I might be the greatest rapper from my country too, though. Yo, you know a lot of people say that, right? Oh god. You know a lot of people are like, "Yo, you're like the pride of London and shit." Like, oh god. For real, that's why. <laughs> like, I agree though. I feel like that's unironic. Unironically, he would be the best. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Like he's like I know it was a joke, but he's spitting facts. That like that London that O two. Night, like that has to happen. Right that's gonna be some different Chill that's out. like some real homecoming shit yeah oh god. i'm excited for that oh god. oh god exactly oh god chill chill we not talking about him chill 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 i don't know why you throwing i don't know why you throwing lancy into that i don't know why you throwing lancy into that we already discussed it we didn't already talked about bro I don't ever want to hear that shit again in my life. Bro, another one? Oh, yeah, I seen it. 